Hey guys, still a mess. Like legit a mess. Um, tired as I don't know what. Getting ready to close up shop for mommy clean for the rest of the year, thank God. Um, but I wanted to show you guys um, the type of things that I buy for stock and stuffers. So in my family, we stock and stuff for everybody. Everybody's boyfriend, um, all my sisters, both my parents, all the kids, literally legit the, the, the pets. <laughs> we stock and stuff for the pets. We just stocking stuff. Everybody gets a stocking and everybody gets multiple stockings. So like my kids, they get two stockings. Um, it's just it's just a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But I wanted to show you how you can kind of do it on a budget. So one thing that I feel like is super essential for stockings, chargers. So I went to this cool store. They had Apple chargers that were 10 feet long. So I got everybody in my house one of these for their stockings. Um, another thing are like little face masks um, or eye masks. I think like, and these are like from, this is from like the Target dollar section. Even though like they might not use it, it's still cute and they might use it, you never know. Um, so then for the kids, I like to always pick up, and I'm trying to show you this cruise right here, so I'm gonna try to show you without him noticing, but always picking up a few toys to add into their stockings. Um, this way it will keep them kind of like having something little. Um, sometimes, they, so usually we, they, we, we, we might let them open a the stocking at night. It just depends on how the night goes. Um, but recently we've been doing a lot of like activities on Christmas Eve, um, so we kind of don't need to do stockings. And we also do Secret Santa in my family. And I'll share a good, good Secret Santa gifts too. But um, we do Secret Santa also. Um, so I usually, we usually don't open up stockings on Christmas Eve night all the time. The kids just started doing Secret Santa with us, so they um, open up stockings before, but now they're gonna do Secret Santa too. They wanted to use their money to do Secret Santa, so whatever. Um, I also get socks, put that in there. Um, other things like, I feel like people don't always get, for me anyway, I think my mom started us on the trend of kind of getting like essentials that you use every day, like, like, um, like so, face pads, um, maybe like a hair a dr hair towel, um, what are these things called? Cotton swabs. Um, also got like deodorant for the guys to put into their stockings, um, chapsticks, things like this, face cloths. I just pick up the little, all the travel essentials um, from like Target, um, and then other little things like tea towels that you know people can baby. use to decorate their home. Ah, no baby, no, no baby, no thank you. And then um, for the bigger boys, I got them toothbrushes and toothpaste. But the other thing that I feel like people don't always think about, which is what I um, wanted to help you guys with, is a lot of stores, believe it or not, have, especially because they, most stores, when you order something online, it doesn't come from like, usually, it doesn't come from this huge, gigantic warehouse. It actually comes from an actual store in the mall or, you know, like a storefront. Um, and when they send stuff, sometimes they send little, put little trinkets in there, like maybe a sample, like if you go to Sephora or Ulta or Anthropology or like little cute stores like that, they might give you like a little sample gift inside of your packaging for the holidays. So whenever I buy anything, rather, regardless of if it's a stocking stuffer gift, a small gift, whatever, I always say, if you have any packaging, can you please include it in my bag? So this year with packaging, I got um, some bracelets. 
that go in for stocking stuffers. These are free. So of course I'm gonna just throw them in my the stockings this year. Um, when I was shopping, they I also got some sample perfumes. I'm gonna put those in stockings. And then the other thing to remember when you're stocking stuffing is like you don't have to essentially spend a lot of money. You can spend a little to nothing. Um, for instance, instead of going to Target, essentially what I wanted to do is go to the Dollar Tree, but I just never have made it to the dollar store this whole Christmas season. So I'm gonna try to um, go tomorrow just to pick up a little bit of knickknack stuff. But what you can do is get big bags, and I didn't do it this year, but get like the lo Shush it, honey, baby, shh. You can get the packs of gum that have like seven packs of individual small gum and and just divide that up that's one dollar for seven little mini packs of gum um tic tacs you can get um pens pens i mean just anything coffee mugs for a dollar um glasses martini glasses beer glasses sh champagne flutes whatever you wanted to get um and those for a dollar for my kids i like to get like you know the crazy little headbands that they can wear and the necklaces from the dollar store um all things that are like you know super fun and super cute but also thinking about when you're walking up to the register and you're buying your regular gifts those knickknacks that they have at the registers are perfect stocking stuffers so for i always see people posting what they're getting um and putting into their stockings for their for their family and it's always like real gifts i'm always like dang so y'all really caking it up posting like i mean putting in people's stockings like real gifts like i'm not putting a toolkit in someone's stocking if it's gonna cost 15 bucks that's something i can or 30 bucks i can wrap that up and put it under the tree I always think of stocking stuffers as everyday essential items that you need things that you're gonna like take like when I get a stocking I literally can take that whole stocking dump it into my purse or diaper bag and say I'm gonna use this today like I always think essential items um, and for kids I always think something that they can play with when you say clean up these toys like you know every christmas morning they always want to open up the biggest toy and then it's all it's everywhere and then you're like okay let's clean this up but if they pull out that stocking they have a race car they have an action figure or something like that so i'm really big on just kind of small trinkets and then remembering that you know Think nice things can be inexpensive too. So things that you don't probably think about. Ornaments are great stocking stuffers. You can get the nicest, cheapest ornaments from Crate and Barrel for like 99 cents. So literally I used to gift ornaments to close friends and family members all the time for a dollar. Really, really nice ornaments from Crate and Barrel for a dollar. You can get a ton of actually nice gifts out of Crate and Barrel during the holidays for literally just a dollar or two dollars. Um, but I got these really fine European chocolates um, to gift for stockings. They are they were only a dollar a piece. I got like six of them, um, and those can just go into the stocking. Now, mind you, um, crew Theodore, shh, that when you're doing stockings, again, you don't have to get huge, you know, things that you can wrap under the tree. I, I think it's important to remember that stockings are supposed to be kind of knick-knack things and not these huge ordeals. So I just wanted to kind of give you a haul and probably for stocking stuffers, I would say I spent about 50, maybe like not even $50 because these things were free. Um, and then these things were, hey baby. These things were free. So I probably spent about one, two, three, four. And then these were actually, I got these for free too. So maybe about 40 bucks and we have to stock in stuff for, let's see, it's four, it's five people in my, it's five people in my home for my parents. And we, we have to do stockings for 11 people. So for 30, 30 to 40 bucks for 11 people is right on Target. So yeah, super easy. Even the socks. I got these out of the dollar section in Target. So 
it's very, very affordable. You don't have to go crazy with your stocking stuffers, but I just thought I would share that stuff. So talk to you soon. Um, I'm probably going to do my next video tomorrow on um, stocking stuffer ideas for pets. I really don't. Or maybe I can just show you guys what I got them. All right, maybe I'll just show you now. Okay, so I'm back. So from both my sisters have dogs. Um, I had these bags for the kids' stockings last year, um, and I just decided to use them for the dogs. So nothing super special. They actually have gifts too. These are just their stockings. See how many crazy, right? I didn't even include them. So if I did 11, so we have 13 stock stockings to fill. So. Um, this is a happy birthday birthday kit. How freaking cute is that? Comes with like every hello, excuse me, it comes with a birthday banner, uh, cutout cookie cutter, birthday bone. Um, it also comes with a birthday hat. And what else does it come? And a recipe book for, for dogs for Christmas for their birthdays. And then I got them Christmas pajamas. The pajamas I kind of went a little bit overboard. They were $10 a piece, but I don't know why. I don't have any actual nieces and nephews, so I really do treat my, my sister's dogs as if they were like really legit people. Um, and then I got them this pet odor eliminator spray. So again, nothing um, super crazy and like, oh, and then for our cat, I got him uh, some little toys too, and he'll have these for Christmas Day. So, again like don't have to spend a ton of money but it's always nice to kind of think outside the box and make it affordable so no matter who you're st stocking st stuffing stockings for just think practical every day what i can use around the house um other things i got i'm trying to see if there's anything extra like i got lotion in here um kleenex cotton wipes uh what else toothpaste um i got these like phone cord jack things i mean and then of course I, well i don't usually do this for my kids because my parents go crazy with the candy so you know you can always put candy in the bags but just remember to take advantage of the stuff that they're giving away because they are actually giving away a lot of stuff and anytime i go to a store Regardless, I always ask, especially during Christmas, do you guys have boxes? Because if they have a ton of boxes, even if I don't need a box for this gift, I'm gonna need a box eventually, so I might as well get as many boxes as I can and whatever they're offering for free to go with the box. They had really cute, Anthropology was lit. Crate and Barrel kind of does the same thing. But like, you can get like, really cute bows that you could actually use on your when you're real wrapping if you didn't even need to wrap gifts for free the tissue paper for free the bows for free like why not go ask for everything you never know what they're giving away they might even give you samples for free put that in a stocking then this and then the whole stocking is free so just wanted to share that that's what i do tell me what you do by liking commenting and sharing this post talk to you later guys